Regardless of where people are in the county, no matter what job they serve in, people have aspirations and we want to provide opportunity to everybody in the area of aspirations. They may be exposed to things in their job that pique an interest and we have many, many jobs here and so we want to be able to facilitate that. We're rare in that we provide a variety of services and there are ways to provide those services from technical support, being a customer service agent, to being human resources or engineering. And we want to be able to provide opportunities for people to seek those out and to succeed in them. My first job was actually working as a medical records clerk in the King County Correctional Facility downtown. Um, that was back in 2002, and it was just basic filing, alphabetizing, answering phones, that type of thing. First job in King County for the Department of Adult and Juvenile Detention was as a corrections officer. In 1989, I was hired. I've had many different roles along the way. Well, as an officer, I had a role in training. I worked in various areas within the operation. Uh, back then, we were one division. Uh, today, we're five divisions. My first job at Metro, King County Metro, was a on-call customer information specialist. Uh, well, starting on-call in the call center, um, you, I kind of just worked my way through it. Uh, it's a good place to learn about the entire organization, so you get to understand the entire bus system. You know, it's taken a kind of funny turn, so I started in medical records and started down an administrative track to being an assistant for the division director um, and also showing interest as being a project manager. So I took specialized training in project management and took some project management roles on um, into compliance and accreditation and that led to my role at the Department of Adult and Juvenile Detention as the PREA coordinator a couple of years ago. And then I recently, over the past um, year, have jumped into an operations role, which is very new for me. Well, coming into the department, I had a background in training and development, and um, uh, one of the areas that I excelled in uh, as a young woman was athletics, and I applied those skills and, and uh, into uh, working for the YMCA full-time as a fitness coordinator for the main Seattle uh, facility down, downtown here in Seattle. Um, I think just that background of uh, athletics and competition, um, it seemed that a lot of those skills and that influence that I had as a young woman applied very well here in my role as a corrections officer and inspired me significantly to seek a lot more training. Um, coming in as entry level, I realized there was so much I didn't know about the role and um, the duties and, and the complexity of the jail operation with the criminal justice system. And um, I spent a considerable amount of time seeking training opportunities both externally outside of the organization as well as at the Criminal Justice Training Commission and, and other specialty courses I could get my hands on. I started on call, next stop was uh, full time. Next stop after that, I was the senior information specialist, kind of leading the call center. And I went from there to assistant chief, a little bigger responsibilities, uh, followed by chief. Uh, then we started getting into some technology, so I saw some interest in that area, kind of started to pursue that, uh, and went to a transportation planner three followed by a project program manager four, followed by a supervisor slash superintendent of customer communication and services. And from there, I moved to assistant manager. I picked a lot of brains and just asked a lot of questions. Uh, so mentoring was big for me. I would definitely follow my boss or supervisors around on a regular basis. Uh, I'd volunteer for assignments. Um, I would take any classes that were being offered free. Um, and then I'd, I'd volunteer for any uh, like new process improvement type things. Uh, so recently I was involved with some lean stuff. Uh, I had studied lean, but I still wanted to get the county's perspective on how they did it. Uh, so just, just being busy and you know, kind of that old adage of 
if you want to be a certain thing, you should hang out with those type of folks. Uh, I think that's played well for me. So my advice is really multi-pronged. I mean, one is really seek out opportunities. Talk to your supervisor, look online, talk to your HR professional. There are opportunities online on the King County website. We have a resource center. We have special duty opportunities, and then we actually ask you to engage with your supervisor about a career growth plan. We want to make sure that we are an employer who provides fair and equitable opportunities to really all employees, regardless of where they are in the organization.